She got a thing for a nigga with bad habits Showing love shit, baby, maybe I'm bad at it You think about leaving me, I can't be mad at it I gotta make these bands appear like some magic So y'all gotta know, it's taking everything out my being Not to really steal off on this nigga in the middle of the street He tried it really one too many times Because you only got so many times to push a real bitch <laughs> So, the nigga had it coming it just so happened that when i was ready to give it to him <laughs> the motherfucking police pull up when i'm punched hey man say man it's your boy sad season tv man back with another video now damn there's more twisted turns to this story like a goddamn soap opera now apparently a old uh, uh live stream you know old video clip of Megan Thee Stallion has resurfaced where she gets into detail about a 2015 arrest over, uh, you know, an uh, altercation with her boyfriend. She basically was saying that she he did something and she ended up punching on him and then the police pulled up and it led to whatever it led to. Now, this video is resurfacing. It's going viral again and it's fueling the theory of Megan Thee Stallion Putting hands on Tory before he allegedly shot at her. Now, when I saw this, I was like, mm. there's so many twists and turns. Of course, people are going to still look at Tory as the bad guy. And I feel like, yeah, he had a right to defend himself, but I will keep, I'm going to keep it 100. Shooting, if he, if he did shoot her, that, you know, that was, that was taking it, it was taking it too far. You feel me? But keep in mind, I read a comment uh, on Instagram of that video clip y'all saw in the beginning where he said, you just can't uh, uh, hit someone and expect not to be hit back. Like, you can't expect nothing to happen back to you, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't know how people are going to react. Like, you cannot come into a situation thinking, that, oh, I'm going to hit him. He ain't going to do nothing. Nah, expect the reaction. I'm not saying it's cool to beat women. I'm not saying it's cool to shoot women, but I do believe in self-defense. Now, shooting a female might be taking a little bit too far, but then it depends on the state you're in. Now, I know if this happened in Houston, people would be looking at it a little bit, a little bit different because in Texas, no matter what you do, if you cause harm to somebody in any kind of like if you try and or if you try to make someone the victim of a crime, or if you put hands on someone, you better expect to either be beaten, beaten up. Uh, a knife get pulled or a gun get pulled out. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not <coughs> painting Megan the Stallion like she's some abusive female. But hey, all this stuff that's coming out, uh, saying that, oh, she puts hands on dudes when she mad and all this, it does not really help her case. And if this is the case, I'm not going to be surprised if she put hands on Tori first because Keep in mind, Megan is a Houston bitch. No disrespect to the women. I don't know. You know you don't like that word, but I'm just saying. Megan is a Houston bitch. Yes, she a bad bitch, but keep in mind, she a Houston female. And a lot of times when they with they dudes, they really hood females. Houston hood females. Not suburbans, but yeah, like they will get in their feelings about they do. And most likely hands will get thrown and shit will be talked. But it is what it is, man. The question is, do y'all think she hit Tory? Before he allegedly shot her. Now tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section. Hit the like button. Subscribe, share, and comment for more videos. Hit the bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thank y'all for tuning to Sad Season TV. I'm out. She got a thing for a nigga with bad habits. Showing love shit, babe, maybe I'm bad at it. You think about leaving me, I can't be mad at it. I gotta make these bands appear like some magic.